Hello and welcome to Watch Me Fly. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to use the Watch Me Fly target tool. Now, the Watch Me Fly target tool is a new version of what used to be called Watch Me Fly Measure, and it's used by target teams to record all of the measurements and the marker drops at the targets and send the data to the scoring team in real time. So to access the target tool, you either go to the homepage of Watch Me Fly and there's a link on the left hand side that says Target Team. Or you can go to the Watch Me Fly target tool directly using the URL watchmefly.net slash target. So when you first come to the target tool, you'll come to the login page and you want to use the code that the, uh, the officials have provided you. So this is a uh, number code, it's normally an eight digit number. So simply enter that and click log in. So I'm demonstrating using my iPad because that's normally what you would use in the field, but this works in any web browser. So either an iPad or a laptop is possible. It doesn't work so well on a phone just because the screen size is not big enough. So when you first come into the target tool, you'll see if there are any flights that are currently live that are ready to be scored or ready to be measured, you'll see a list of the tasks and all of the goals. So here we can see that there are two tasks, the fly in and the hesitation waltz. We can see the coordinates of the goal. We can see which target team have been assigned to that particular goal. So here we're going to go to goal one for the hesitation waltz. So I can just click on that link and that will take me into the target tool. So that for those who have used the previous measure tool, you'll notice a slight different here, difference here is that the forms are all available on the screen as well as the balloons that the pilots are flying. This is just to make it a little bit more efficient. So it's pretty straightforward. So there's a number of things that you can do. So firstly, all the information about your target is here at the top, including the location, uh, the marker colors, the type of drop, the MMA details and the scoring period. So all the essential details. And then here you have a full list of each of the pilots, as well as the ability to uh, flag whether they have flown past and not dropped a marker, whether they've dropped outside the MMA, or whether they've dropped a valid marker. We'll come back to those, but at the bottom here, you'll also see a couple of other fields. So firstly, if you have placed the, the target in a slightly different location to the coordinates listed here at the top, you're able to enter the actual coordinates so that the, uh, the scorers can put that into the system for scoring. So here we might say that it actually ended up at 5521 and maybe 8845, just some random number. So once you do that, you can just hit save target and that will record the details. Also, when you've finished doing all your measuring, you're able to flag that the measuring has been complete. So you can click on this switch here, click on save target, and again, that will notify the scoring team that you are done measuring that particular target and they'll know that there's no more data coming through. Okay, so now let's look at what you would do during the actual task. So there's a number of different options. So firstly, imagine a balloon flies past and they drop a marker and you just want to record the fact that they have dropped that marker. So you, let's say that Earl McGraw flies past, drops their marker near the target. You can simply hit the drop button and that will flag that has been dropped and you'll see that the field goes green. But we have not yet done any measurements yet. Then another balloon, so maybe L driver flies past and she also drops. So you can flag that as being uh, also a drop. Then maybe another balloon flies past and drops outside the MMA. So let's say that is Jules Winford. So we can click on outside and then that will flag that the marker has been dropped but it's outside the MMA and you're no longer able to put in a measurement. What you can do is then also, if somebody flies past and they don't drop their marker at all, you can click on the pass button. So we'll say Aldo flew past and that just flags it as the balloon having flown past and not dropped their marker at all. So that might be that they've used their logger mark or it could be that they're flying to the other hesitation waltz goal. But all the information that you're providing is going to help the scoring team. 
Okay, so you're also able to come in here, if you're measuring at the same time as the, the balloons are flying, you might decide that Vanetta, you've quickly measured it and she got 2.45 meters. You can click on that drop button and that will record your measurement as well. So you don't need to click drop, then enter the measurement and then save it like you used to in the old measure tool. You're able to simply put in the information. So maybe uh, this one got 1.34 meters. However, we might say that they also put in ground contact within the MMA and want to record a comment as well. You can hit that drop button and it will save it. And you'll see all the information has been saved. Or if you want to come back later and then measure these results that you've already recorded the drop for, you can come in afterwards and say, well, this person got 45.23 meters and click on the save button and then that will record the result after the fact. You'll notice for each of these, they have a reset button once you've recorded something. So if you decide that you want to change something or um, clear it completely or you make a mistake, you can simply hit reset and that will clear that measurement for what you've just put in there. And you can come in and say, actually they got 49.33 meters and record that drop. So all pretty straightforward. Once you've done all that, again, as I said before, you can flag uh, the task as being complete, hit save, and then you're done for the day. When you come back to the home page, you're able to see how many results have been measured, and that just gives you a good indication. And because that has been flagged as complete, you'll see that it's got a green icon here on the right hand side rather than the gray one. Another thing you can do is also upload a photo uh, or photos to the system so the scoring team can see them. So you'll see that you've got a camera icon up here on the right hand side and you can click on the camera icon and this will give you a form to upload the photos. So you may decide you want to send a photo of the paper task or well, this paper measuring sheet that you've got. So let's do that here. So I'm going to click on choose file and in this case, we're going to use a photo that I've taken on my iPad. And what you want to be able to do here is upload a file that's less than two megabytes in size. So here at the bottom, and I'm using an iPad, so you've got the choice of choosing the actual file size you want to do. So if it's a large photo, make sure you choose something less than two megabytes. In this case, it is smaller than that. So we can use that photo and click upload. Once that photo is uploaded, you'll see that the photo shows up in the photos list below and then the scoring team will also see that. So whether it's a photo of the measuring sheet or any of the uh, things at the target that you want to send them, you're able to do it through the system here. And then one final thing that if you want to see larger pictures of the balloons, so uh, as we saw before, you can see here in the left hand column each of the balloons. You can also come to the balloon photos page and that will show you more information and larger shots of each of the pilots and what they're flying. So there you go. That is the target uh, tool in Watch Me Fly. If you have any questions, please let us know. But I hope you enjoy using this new functionality for the target team. Thank you.